Chris and welcome back to another mod review. So today we're reviewing the Adventure Z mod for 1.16.3 and it's a mod that adds a bunch of cool items, new mobs and a new boss. So let's just get straight into this mod review. So I'm first going over the basic items. So the basic items you need to get the other items are the chiseled polished blackstone holder and the gilded blackstone shard and they're required to actually get the blackstone golem heart and the gilded netherite fragment so yeah the blackstone golem is a boss but yeah you first need the gilded blackstone shard so these are usually obtained by trading with a piglin oh um he's sort of dying also this place looks spooky doesn't it i did a good job at making this place look spooky <laughs> Oh, uh, that is horrifying through the speakers, isn't it? And oh, also, I just realized how there... Oh, okay, so I guess that if I want to do a long-term trade, I have to go into the nether, don't I? Yeah, apparently their brains rot in this dimension. And I don't blame them. Also, yeah, that heartbeat is the Blackstone Golem heart. So, yeah, you're gonna start hearing it for a while, and apparently there's a sheep that's glowing. Okay, so as you can see, they've dropped some man. Oh, no, uh, they're pretty loud, aren't they? But, yeah... As you can see, they dropped a gilded um, blackstone shard. And also, don't blame me for actually looking at the actual name because, yeah, I kind of forget the names. And the next thing you'll need to actually summon the boss is the chiseled polished blackstone holder. So, yeah, this is what you use to summon him. And we are pretty much done with these two since, yeah, we're not going to fight the boss yet. And the boss actually drops a blackstone golem heart, which we'll get rid of because it actually is making way too much noise. And here is the gilded netherite fragment. This is used to actually craft this armor. So yeah, you'll upgrade it the same way you'll upgrade to netherite by using the smithing table. So yeah, it makes it it makes it so you're actually fireproof. So I'm gonna show you guys once I go into the lava pit um in survival. So this actually has the coolest ability to actually survive in the nether. So if you have a full set of this gilded netherite helmet, no, I mean gilded netherite armor. You can actually go into lava and not get hurt. So you first want to click V if you actually um, get stuck in lava. So I'm going to click V with this full set of armor. And it I should not be on fire. So yeah, it gives you very buff fire resistance. So you can basically take a bath inside lava. And it also has a perk that piglins don't attack you. Um, Yeah, as you can see, he's not interested. Or it might be because he's actually dying. And his brain is rotting from the inside. But while we're at it, here is the Blackstone's arm. So yeah, this is an epic level item. So yeah, if you hold right, it'll charge the arm. And the way you craft it is the Blackstone Golem Heart, surrounded by some Blackstone. So yeah, um, I'm not going to count this. Seven Blackstone. So yeah, um, that's all you need. And it has a few attacks. So the first attack is just the punch, which is used by left clicking. So left clicking will actually launch your enemies. And if you want to charge up this arm, you just right click, hold it down, and then once it gets red, you just release it, and it should give him slowness, and actually throw a rock at his head. Which might make his um, situation even worse, and yeah, he's dead. You can do a wheel, please. And you can do a wheel? <laughs> oh, no, dot it, um, um, I'm sorry, but this is why I like you in the mod reviews. This hey. is why I always ask you to be the mod reviews. You always find uh, stuff out. Yes. Your intelligence. Oh wait, <laughs> what? Okay, that is uh, that is horrible grammar. And the last thing we're gonna go over is the piglin flag. And one thing I forgot, the piglin flag actually is a drop from this guy, which is the piglin beast, which we'll be fighting once I actually show you guys what this item does. And what the piglin flag does is actually calm down um triggered uh, piglins. Oh no, uh, I guess I spawned too many of them. Um, good thing that I actually have, um, resistance, or else this would be, um, going horribly. And yeah, this does take two minutes to recharge, so they're gonna be attacking me for two minutes, and I guess that, um, it's not gonna calm them down. Alright, so it calmed everyone down, um, except the Piglin Brute, which apparently, um, still hates me. Yes, you can see they've all calmed down, except the Piglin Brute, which is kind of brutal, and he doesn't care if you've already calmed him down or not. He does not listen to this flag. I, I might have to tell this to the mod creator. But as you can see, all of them are calm and they're not going to attack me anymore. 
So now we're gonna fight the mob. So before we actually fight anything, I just want to let you guys know that this does have looting enchantment to hunger. So yeah, if you see a super rare drop, don't say anything because yeah, um, it's looting enchantment and you will actually never get this in your world. So yeah, um, that's just a heads up just in case anyone was wondering why they're not getting the items. So let's spa spawn in the pickling beast. And yeah, I have to go into survival, obviously. And yeah, I did just eat a golden apple. So let's just spawn in the piglin beast. So this guy will usually spawn in once you fight too many um, piglins or actually mine too much gold. So yeah, this guy will come and his only basic attack is going slowly and hitting you with a giant stick. Actually, I don't know what they're called, but those are medieval weapons. But yeah, as you can see, you can actually avoid them. Um, yeah, Jonathan, what are you gonna say? I don't remember, I think it's a Ooh, club. Uh, yeah, this club is pretty powerful. As you can see, he does a lot of damage just by one swing. But you can actually avoid his attacks just by going around him. And yeah, that was pretty easy. So, as you can see, he drops gold and netherite fragments. Um, I don't know what they're called. Netherite scraps. Okay, yeah, I haven't, I've never crafted netherite armor before in survival. I'm getting to that, but, um, yeah does drop a lot of gold um but not this much um because of the looting enchantment but all right let's move on to the next one um the next one is actually a jockey so so it's a soul reaper on top of a nightmare so this is actually needs to be spawned in with a command because i couldn't find any of them in the wild so if you're in creative and you want to fight this guy you just do slash summon adventure z and nightmare so this will spawn in the jockey and yeah he does give you what, uh, withering, and he's... Why is he walking sideways? Is he moonwalking? But, um, yeah, you shouldn't try to kill the horse, because, yeah, the horse is actually useful, and Jonathan just killed oh. the horse in one hit. All right, so let's get rid of this guy, and I might need a golden apple. I kind of regret not having the golden apple. So as you can see, he only drops a wither skull, so, yeah, that is pretty much what he drops. But the most interesting thing in this is the nightmare, so you can actually make this your pet, so... Let's just get a saddle and let's try to make him the pet. A pet. All right, uh, my grammar's broken. So let me just try to ride this guy. So this guy is pretty epic, isn't he? So let's just ride him and let's see if he likes me. So let me get on him. So yeah, it's just like a normal horse. So I'm just going to skip ahead. So unfortunately, you can't give these guys armor. But as you can see, they are overpowered. So yeah, they have much more health than the normal horse. And I'm not sure about their jump. But yeah, they do look pretty cool with their soul trail, um, soul light trail, uh, I'm not sure, um, these are probably, yeah, soul fire. So I'm just gonna get off him and, oh no, uh, yeah, there is a glitch where your face apparently disappears out of existence. Alright, so yeah, it looks like I'm just a helmet. Um, so yeah, do, um, keep that in mind. Don't get scared if you see reality warping behind you. Okay, I'm doing a horrible job at this mod review. But yeah, um... These two actually spawn into Soul Sand Valley. So yeah, if you want to see a Nightmare Jockey, you actually have to go into the Soul Sand Valley and try to find one. But they're pretty rare since I tried to look for one off camera. In creative, I covered the entire biome and I couldn't find any of them. So apparently they're super rare. So yeah, next up is the Wither, the Necromancer. So these spawn in Nether Forts. So they actually summon a Nether Mob called, uh, um, I don't remember their name, what? so, um, yeah, they're miniature versions, all right, um, let's just kill them, and, um, yeah, we'll go over their name after we're done, so let's just go after the Necromancer, so the Necromancer is kind of powerful, because it gives you its own custom wither effect, and yeah, it's sort of like blindness, but yeah, it, um, apparently it implants its face into your face, okay, that is, that is kind of creeper, actually, those are wither skeletons, and as you can see, they drop um, golden nuggets and an enchantment book. So this enchantment book has sharpness 3 and fire protection 3. Oh, um, that is pretty awesome. Uh, uh, okay, so it's kind of universal because the sword is not going to really protect you from a fire. But yeah, that is a pretty cool drop, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry that I forgot their name. They're wither puppets. So yeah, the wither puppets are kind of powerful. And Jonathan, you're looking more terrifying Every single time this mod review goes to a new item or mob. <laughs> and now for the summoner and skeleton vanguard. So yeah, these two actually spawn together. And they spawn in when lightning strikes. So yeah, there is a small possibility that him and his guard will spawn in. 
And I'm not sure how many guards there will be, but um, let's just spawn two. So let's spawn this guy and let's spawn two of his minions. Actually, he summoned his own. He summoned his own. I kind of regret. I kind of regret. I kind of regret. I didn't know that he summoned his own. But yeah, apparently I'm learning something by doing this mod review. Uh, Jotun, be careful. He's going to start spawning in more. So I'm just going to get rid of these two, Jotun. Let me fight him. Um, uh, That's kind of my turn. Yeah. Right? Um, uh, and he just teleported out of this place thing. And my trident is gone. Um, okay, apparently he's outside. Um, I'll try to find him, don't worry. And yeah, um, I kind of died. And yeah, he is on the roof. <laughs> the worst place he can be. And what? A, a wandering traitor up here too? What is wrong with this? Oh, no, Jotun, no, no. No, off, off with your head. Off with your head. Okay, I'm gonna drop down with him. And he died. Oh, okay, I almost died. I almost died. So yeah, he does drop diamonds and an enchantment book. So yeah, this one has sharpness to um sharpness three. Yeah, um, I don't know what they drop. Um, I uh, yeah, I don't think they actually drop anything. So yeah, you actually have to defeat that guy. But yeah, their guards are kind of overpowered, aren't they? And they got out then they all right. Um, I'm just gonna let them be and they can go wherever they want. And next up is a really cool mob. So yeah, this was mob D in one of the mine cons. So yeah, this was gonna be called the Fiery Inferno. But here in this mod, it's called the Blaze Guardian. So yeah, this is Bob D. And it's actually here in Minecraft. And yeah, um, you have to be careful with his attacks because he is pretty overpowered. And he actually has shields. So some attacks he'll, uh, he'll start deflect. All right, um, I guess I need more than one because um, we're way too overpowered. But yeah, sometimes they will deflect your attacks. So let's just try to deflect one of their attacks. There we go. So yeah, oh! What? Yeah, they do do that. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot to tell you guys. They actually explode in the fireball that destroys absolutely anything in their path. So yeah, they are pretty overpowered. So yeah, uh, if you're gonna fight one, just make sure to activate your ability if you have this armor, or else you're pretty much dead, aren't you? Yeah, uh, no, actually, that insta kills you. Yes, even if you do anything, like eating a golden apple, you'll still probably die. So yeah, you might want to have protection five before actually going into another fortress. And um, uh, everything is on fire, so I guess that we're ready to summon the other mob. Yeah, just as I say everything's on fire, I'm ready to spawn in another mob. So yeah, we are gonna summon the boss. So um, we better oh, be prepared. Geez. Actually, I don't think we are really prepared. But all right, let's fight the boss. So we are gonna grab enchanted golden apples. And if you see me grabbing enchanted golden apples, that means things are about to go down. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before summoning him is to craft a chiseled polished blackstone holder. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot to tell you guys how to craft this. So you actually need the saw blade to actually craft this. So you craft it um, by using normal chiseled polished blackstone. So yeah, that gives you the blackstone holder. And once you have the blackstone holder, you want to make sure that you know the center of where you're going to place this. So before you actually summon this boss, you have to make sure that you have a few specifications required to actually spawn this guy in. So all of them have to be blackstone based blocks. So if you don't do this, you won't get the boss. So um, you want to mark your center. So I've marked it with po polished blackstone. So now you want to go one, two, three, four out, and then place your chiseled polished blackstone holder. So yeah, I'm just gonna call it holder from now on because yeah, I'm not gonna call the full, I'm not gonna say its full name every single time I want to say the name the block's name. But yeah, let's just go one, two, three, four, and then place it over here. So yeah, you want to repeat it until you have it on all sides. Now that you have everything ready, you now want to summon the boss. So the first thing you need to do is place a gilded blackstone shard in each one of these holders. So I'm going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here, and it should start spawning him in. So the ritual has started. So I'm going to eat this just in case I die. So yeah, he starts forming, and oh, there geez. he is. The beast, the Hulk himself. Wait, um, Rock Hulk. Okay, Rock Hulk it is. Um, and apparently he's kind of, okay, he's kind of charging. Okay, there we go. He's charged up, and he's ready to fight us. So yeah, um, there's basically only one attack. 
where he just smacks you repeatedly into the ground and probably smashes you with his giant head. Um, no, I don't think it's his giant head. I think just walking actually hurts everything that he touches. So, yeah, um, you probably don't want to meet this guy in the elevator. Oh, wait, um, why, why, would, why would you meet this guy in the elevator? And since when do I joke like this? Okay, yeah, I do... Wait, I do joke like this all day, so... Yeah, let's just go in and fight, um, Rock Hulk again. And ah! yeah, he has another attack. He throws rocks at you. So yeah, basically his arm's ability. So yeah, the arm you use, um, has the same ability as his. Oh yeah, you're but yeah, it's his right me? Yeah, it's his right hand, isn't it? So we're just gonna fight him. And then he probably has a second face. Ah! Oh! Yeah, that is his second face! Oh no! So don't think he's supercharged. So yeah, this is the second phase. So yeah, I was wondering when it would come. But yeah, as you can see, he threw me across the entire room. Okay, Jotun, let's stop fighting him for now. And let's just show everyone without a golden app or anything. Okay, all right. Wait, actually, I did show without all the effects. Um, yeah, and he, he brutally killed me. So yeah, he's still after Jonathan and he still wants to kill everyone in here. Wait, he's, so, uh, he's more interested in you than me. Um, Jotun, why, why isn't he listening? Okay, yeah, um, he can't think. He's actually trying to look for both of us. Okay, no, you, you're not gonna survive. You're not gonna survive. Oh, okay, he does not care for me, does he? Okay, no, yeah, he does care for me a little bit, but yeah, Jotun, he's about to kill you, isn't he? Without a golden apple, you can't fight it. Oh, no, yeah, and I forgot to tell you, these are the mini, um, Blackstone Golem. So, yeah, you have to defeat these guys after defeating that guy. So, yeah. There's a bunch of things to defeat Jotun. Can you take care of this guy? He's crawling after me. So yeah, those are disabled tiny hoax. Rock hoax. Yes. And yeah, let me just collect absolutely every single item. So yeah, um, I kind of hate that heartbeat. So yeah, you'll hear it every single time you fight this guy. So yeah, and he always drops the gilded netherite fragment. No matter what. So yeah, I kind of have looting 200. But this will always spawn in. And they'll only spawn in one, no matter how much looting you have. And yeah, it does give you netherite scraps. It gives you the blackstone golem heart. So it gave me two. So that means I can craft two Hulk arms um, with, filled with lava. Yeah, Hulk arms filled with lava. Why do I keep calling him Ho a Hulk? Blackstone golem arms. And he also dropped some normal blackstone and sometimes some gilded blackstone shards. So yeah, that was pretty epic, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, um, Jonathan, you still look terrifying. You kind of scared me. But yeah, that was it for today's video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this mod review. I really did enjoy this. And yeah, hopefully I can keep doing mods like this. So next week is vampirism mod. So yeah, we'll all become vampires. Wait, uh, uh, we'll become vampires. Okay, yeah, the, um, that was kind of a horrible accent. But yeah, don't forget to burn that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you happen to be new to this channel and happen to be enjoying my content. Let's try to get to 10 likes on this mod review and hopefully you guys have an awesome day or night and see you all later. Bye! Bye.